Oh, hello, a very good evening to you. It's me, it's Scotty McClue. And we are, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live. Sunday night, 9 o'clock, nothing gets past me, of course. And here we all are again with show number 86. How amazing is that? Dinky do to you, I say. Tremendous to have you all with us. What a super idea. Now, we have only got one hour, of course, one hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment for not just one nation, but for all nations. I seem to have, ah, that's a little better, a little bit more light to the subject. And I'm just wondering, if you'll just bear with me, I'll see if I can get this on for you as well. Tremendous stuff. Right, there you go, you see. How's that? Excellent. There we go, settling in, settling in for one hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment right round the globe. Now then, hello there big man, says Kenny McNulty. Hello Kenny, lovely to have you with us. Lots to talk about tonight guys, and so little time to do it in. So get yourself sorted out. We're talking about the minimum price for alcohol that's happened during the week. What do you think about that? Good stuff? Good evening, Scotty. How's your weekend? Says Thomas Hamilton. My weekend is fabulous, Tom. What about yours? Was it Dinky Doo? Come on and tell us. I say Dinky Doo, Scotty McClue, says Stephen Nunnerly. Stephen Nunnerly, lovely to have you with us. Last week's show again, a tremendous success. I don't know if you saw that some numpty came on and he said, what's all this about? What's all this about? And I said, well, you could watch the show. And he said, oh, I watched it. I watched it. I, and I, I didn't find anything in it. And, and I, I thought, away you go and do your two-piece jigsaw and refer to the instructions. So he's away. That's what's happened there. Right, you're watching the new television. This is the big one. This is where it all happens. This is the one everyone's watching, the one everyone is talking talking about Scotty McClue just for you if you've never seen me before allow me to introduce myself my name is Scotty McClue capital S small C O W T I E there's Julianne Scott saying hello good evening Steve Burrows yes it was good pal says Thomas a fantastic show Thomas good evening Mr McClue says David Niggas Lovely to have you with us. David, I wonder if you're related to Arthur. Do you remember Arthur Niggas, the antiques man? Good evening, Scotty. This is Mark Andrews from a very warm Manchester. Alcohol and cigarettes should have a minimum price of £20 per item. This could encourage people to give up. Why don't we all, en masse, give up the booze? Would you be up for it? So there you are. Tell us what you think. Very, very important. Good evening, Scotty, says Ronnie Stevenson. What a fine man he is. He's back from Morocco. So there we are. He was on the road to Morocco. And like Webster's Dictionary, he's Morocco bound. And he's back with us tonight. Ronnie Stevenson, welcome home, chum, I say. Andrew Scott George says, no, would you not give up the booze, Andrew Scott George? Why not? I think everyone should. Do you remember the organization, the temperance organization, to get people to stop drinking? So there you are, Temperance Hall. All the best to Sir Alex Ferguson, Sir Steve Burroughs. Absolutely, Steve. All of us, I think, throughout the globe send love and blessings to Sir Alex Ferguson. I hope he comes through this. Um, Sir Alex very sadly took a brain hemorrhage uh, yesterday and uh, let's just hope that he comes through. Wonderful man and uh, terrific for football. I was in Manchester working at Media City on Century 105 radio when Sir Alex was managing Man United who were just across the road from me, just outside the window. There was Man U. I used to see Sir Alex. Tremendous stuff. So there you are. Uh, yes, I'd give up the booze. I'll have a wee drink to that, says Kevin McNulty. Come on, says John Higgins. Uh, I'm off on a booze cruise to Carlisle, says Scott Kirk. Well, you'll have to go in at Port Carlisle, Scott Kirk. I won't give up the single malt. My public need me, says Joseph Gibbons. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, so there we are. Hello, Scotty. My wee sweetheart. What's happening, says Rab. 
I don't know, chum. You tell me. You live in the real world, Rab. Uh, Jamie Ramsey, thank you do. Lovely to have you with us. A very warm welcome to every single one of you. Now, this promises to be one amazing program. Scotty McClue, capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E. That's the Scotty. The McClue, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. That is the McClue. And I am with you for one hour. Evening start from East School Pride, the Taxi Owners Association. I hope you're well. From Jim and Lindsay, James Bauer, of course, uh, in the Taxi Owners Association at East Kilbride there. No, Scotty, uh, a great antiques guy, though, says David Negus. Yes, Arthur Negus, lovely man, used to come in and go, Now, this room belonged to George III, and his cabinet maker made these very, very fine cabinets. Wonderful stuff. Uh, we thought it's only the cheapest bevy affected, so policymakers are likely unaffected. Policymakers. Can't imagine any MPs buying, uh, and he mentions a brand of cider, but then some of the decisions might make more sense as Andrew Scott George. I think you might be surprised how much booze some MPs can consume. Uh, Glasgow is a beautiful city with beautiful people, says Joseph Gibson. It is indeed, Joseph. I would second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth that, and so on. Charles McLaughlin watching on. You come, Charles. Let us know how you are, Dinky Doo, from Scotty McClue. Holiday weekend, of course, but nevertheless, McClue is here with show number 86. Now, we didn't get 85 last Sunday, so I did 85 on Monday night. Facebook had a gremlin and uh, they were wanting to check out uh, that I was who I am. Scotty, you look a wee bit thinner. Are you off the booze? Says Kenny McNulty. Yes, three years off the booze, Kenny. Excellent stuff. Hi, buddy. How are you doing, Big Jim? Jim Thompson. Lovely to hear from you. Excellent stuff. Welcome to the Scotty McClue Show, live on Facebook Live. Keep the faith. Lots of meetings with the big wigs in radio and television, so you will be seeing and hearing a lot more of McClure. Excellent stuff. Uh, sorry, I missed last Monday's show, but I did share it, Scotty, says Gary Crossan. Now, never fear. If you do actually miss a show, do not panic, because it's usually left up on Facebook, and also you might get it on the Scotty McClure YouTube channel. Very, very important. Always have a stub of a hard black pencil and a thrumpney jotter with no batter beside your telephones so you can get down details while you're watching McClue. You're a top man, says Kenny McNulty. So are you, Kenny McNulty. Scotty, are you familiar with the Clyde Auditorium, says Joseph. Yes, I am, Joseph. So dinky do, I say. Dear girl is watching. Come on, on you all come. Don't just sit watching. Get yourselves on. Click on there and give us a wee massage. Let us know what's happening. Drop a wee message in there and say, Dinky Doo, good evening, Scotty, says D. And two wee kisses. Mm. Good evening to you, D. And thanks very much, very much appreciated. It'll soon be the Royal Wedding. All the best to them both. Fantastic couple, says Steve Burrows. Absolutely. Always gives us a lift when we get a Royal Wedding. So there you are, and of course, the Queen herself and Prince Philip gave the whole country a lift in 1947, November 1947, when they got married. Uh, Princess Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor married uh, Prince Philip. So there you are, tremendous stuff. Uh, Dinky Doo from 1066 Country, Scotty, says Nick Prince. Dick, Dinky Doo, Nick. Now, a lot of people won't realise that, but you're a radio man. So there you are, tremendous. Richard McCusker, um, af the booze, you look on you look on the drink or af, says Rab. Rab, do you talk some nonsense, my boy? Dinky Doo from Abu Dhabi says Jamie Ramsey. Jamie's in Abu Dhabi. And of course, remember, guys, this is a global program, so you can see it worldwide. Never a problem. Excellent stuff. And there are big, big plans afoot for the program. Tonight's subject, should we all give up the booze? Minimum pricing from the Scottish government this week. And they reckon they're going to roll it out across England and Wales. All right, Scotty, says Richie McCusker. Dinky do, Richie McCusker. Lovely. 
to have you with us. All these top broadcasters coming on. And uh, can you say hello to Louisa and Lewis Scotty? Says Steve Burrows. I can indeed, Steve. Hello, Louisa. And hello, Lewis. Dinky do. Uh, I've done the show, Scotty. This is Thomas Hamilton. Excellent, Thomas. You're nice and early. We normally have share points throughout the show. So we have four of them usually. And uh, we'll have one at quarter past, one at half past, and one at quarter to, and one at ten o'clock before we do the song, the cheerio song at the end of the show. I'm watching on holiday in Russia, Scotty. Even they haven't banned you, says the wonderful Graham Stewart, one of our top broadcasters. Terrific guy. Graham Stewart, dinky do to you, you very fine fellow. There we are. Excellent work. Hey, Scotty, it's uh, Eurovision week. We need to support Eurovision now. Lee Fan, as you know, one of my great singers is Kenneth McKellar, the late Kenneth McKellar. Look this up because Kenneth actually represented the UK at Eurovision. So wonderful stuff. Can anybody tell me the name of the song he sang? Big quiz tonight. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. I hope I said it right, says Joseph. You did, Joseph. It's wonderful. Uh, so there we are. Hello, Scotty Boy. Dinky do, says the wonderful Brian Keswick. Excellent. Great show, Scotty, says James Nicholas. I thank you, James. We're just starting. The best is yet to come. Scotty McClue, been on your radios and televisions and your newspapers and uh, online, of course, for 26 years next month. 26 years. Uh, I love Kenneth. He represented Ireland, says Lee Fern. Did he, Lee? Well, he certainly represented the UK as far as I know. But what was the song? Uh, Kevin McNulty, did you do? Lots of lovely hearts from Thomas Hamilton there. Now, guys, get tap, 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 tap on your screens because I want to see lots of hearts. We lost last Sunday's show, show number 85, but McClue being McClue did not want the public to be done out of a fantastic show. So we did it on Monday night instead. So you'll see show 85 done on a Monday night. Dinky do, Scotty, Mr. Last Week, says Stephen Wearmouth. I'm just saying, Stephen, if you scroll down on Scotty McClue's page, you will get it. Now, for goodness sake, take a note of this. Facebook.com forward slash Scotty dot McClue dot nine. Get that down. What do we have in store tonight, says James Nicholas. So there we are. Rab Hill says, can you remember Dr. Dick's Midnight Surgery? I can, Rab. Yes, went out on Radio Clyde with Richard. Fantastic stuff. That was one of the first big talk shows around. Terrific. Lots and lots of hearts, guys. Tap, 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 tap on your screens. Uh, so what do we have in store tonight? Um, we've got minimum pricing for alcohol. A good thing or a bad thing, I say. Kenneth represented the UK also in 1966 with the song A Man Without Love. Lee Fern, you are absolutely correct. He did indeed. Kenneth McKellar, wonderful ambassador. Hello, Scotty. Stop ignoring me, says Louis Faber. Louis, how could I ever ignore you? Of all the people in the world that I could ignore, you would be the very, very last one. So there you are. Uh, so I must have just missed you. Uh, let's tax the peasants says Louis Faber. So there you are. Well, Louis, I'll put this out to the nation. Uh, tap, tap, tempty, tempty, tap, says Rab. Excellent, Rab. That's what we want. Hi, Scotty. I think the other UK governments should hold off and see what the Scottish people do to the SNP at the next election. Well, I would imagine the SNP's vote channels will just keep going up and up and up and up. It's probably about 72%. That's the latest figure would like Scotland to be independent now, especially with Brexit. The lovely Lynn Donnelly's watching. Dinky do, Lynn. Lynn, I saw a bit of a message from you, and I didn't quite understand the whole thing. I don't 
have the messenger on my device here because it cuts off the broadcast. So we don't do that. Uh, Scotty, um, Channel Fields, Dinky Do. Uh, so, Scotty, is it right that parents should check their young teenage sons and daughters' phones and Facebook messages? Yes, I think parents should always know what their children are up to and take their phones off them if they're misbehaving. They shouldn't have phones if they're misbehaving. The last time you watched Eurovision, Scotty, I apologise. If I'm boring you, dare I ask the last time you watched Eurovision? Yes, uh, when Dana, Dana won. Uh, I'm a huge Eurovision fan, says Lee. So there you are. Do you remember Dana? Uh, all kinds of everything remind me of you. Very, very moving. Tremendous stuff. So there we are. Excellent. And, uh, of course, uh, Bucks Fizz. Yeah, yeah, Bucks Fizz. Good evening, Scotty. How are you doing? Says Harry Knowles. Harry Knowles, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, and welcome to the Scotty McClue Show. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching the world's top broadcaster, Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet. Now, uh, which Mark's brother... Uh, oh, I don't know, Jamie, that I'm going to tell that one. Good evening, Scotty. Uh, excellent stuff. Good evening to every single one of you. And welcome, 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 welcome to the top show on the Internet. Global, right round the globe. Tell us where you're watching. If you're watching in Canada or America or India or Africa, do say. Very, very important. Right, folks, that's a quarter past. Time for a share. Share, 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 share. I'm certainly going to share. So here we are. Do you remember the champion, the Wonder Horse? Yes, I do. Although, see, when uh, when we started, I only had um, BBC. There was no BBC One. It was just BBC. That was all you actually got. But the lady upstairs, we stayed in a tenement, and the lady upstairs... She got ITV, so you could pop up and see Robin Hood. We need a Scotty McClure app. What's the great idea? Instant access 24-7. Good idea. Or am I going crazy, Mark Andrews? You will not believe it. But that was suggested at one of the top meetings this week. They all said, we need an app, Scotty. People need to get proper access to you. All very well doing a Facebook show. But we need to actually get you on there. I'm just sharing this, guys as we speak can i ask you to do the same so that we get everybody on here uh, i'll just share with the scotty mcclue page as well very very important so there you are what about mr ed mr ed the talking horse yes do you remember randall and hopkirk deceased uh, my parents should take the money off the wee wains so they are scotty your microwave meals ready it keeps pinging yeah no no ian walker was at the supermarket this week and she said to me, she said, just stay on your own. I said, it's because I've got a meal for one. She said, no, it's because you're ugly. So there we are. Uh, I see no share button. I am on my mobile, though, says Lee Fan. No, I had a guy telling me this week he doesn't have a share button. So I'm just wondering if what's happening is being limited. Otherwise, this show would just go through the roof. So it's probably being limited by the old algorithm. Very, very interesting, guys. But there you are. So a lot of people don't actually have a share button. Uh, I'm just going to share to the Scotty McClue group and let everybody know we're on big time. Why should we pay more for alcohol when the government get theirs subsidised? What do you actually mean by that, Steve? Who gets theirs subsidised? Just going to pop this into the Scotty McClue group, guys. And then we'll know that people can come on and go dinky do and join us for the show. Remember, we have to finish at 10 o'clock sharp. So do not miss a second of Scotty McClure. Very, very important. And uh, share with all your groups and your followers. There's plenty of Mr. Ed's in Parliament. <laughs> the talking horses. Do you remember Mr. Ed? Uh, how was it the theme tune went again? Um, a horse is a horse, of course, of course, and Mr. Red is a talking horse. Remember that one? Uh, fit like Scotty, says Gordon Cruden. Gordon's up in the northeast, and he likes to banter a bit at Doric with Scotty McClue, especially coming on a show where there's a, a good kern of folk. Excellent. So they are fit like yourself, Gordon. 
Uh, Scotty, what do you think the government will tax next? I'm thinking takeaways, says Scott Kirk. Uh, Scotty, a new poll says that the Queen and the monarchy should be disbanded. Who is that? A poll of one, Ian Walker? Is that your poll? Uh, it was just in London, 80% in favour of the monarchy. And uh, times are a changing. Well, 20% not in favour of the monarchy. That's just out of sheer ignorance. So I would not worry about that, Ian. If 80% are in favour, tremendous. There we are. It's only 52 pence a year. And, of course, the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh, fantastic job. He's 96 and uh, she's 92. So there we are. Uh, excellent stuff. Uh, John Glenn, he says a sweary word and he says, Are you still living? Of course I'm living. I am but a young man, John Glenn. Whereas you were quite uh, a man for space, weren't you? Uh, good evening, sir, from Nottingham, says Patrick Paracollins. Nottingham, a very, very fine part of the world. I'm just going to keep sharing here, guys, if you can do the same. I just shared with some of my groups. 7.5k potential viewers, says Nick Prince. Nick Prince, you are a prince among men. Tremendous stuff. Lol, says Ian Walker. We'll end up paying tax on the tax we already pay. Should we tax the tax? I say, very, very important. Should we tax the tax? I'm multitasking here. Uh, so excellent stuff. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. This is the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is watching right across Facebook. We're only here for one hour every Sunday night, one hour of superb, scintillating information, education, and entertainment. Scotty McClue, legend, loved that show, says Sean Grimshaw. Sean Grimshaw, dinky do to you. Share and share and share everybody as much as you possibly can. I'm sharing away here, there, fantastic. Good to see you, says John Glenn. Great to see you, John, and lovely to know that you're still with us. Glasgow here, says Shazzy Shaw. Good to hear you again, dinky do, Shazzy Shaw. Always good to hear you, I say. Just going to share here, guys. Excellent stuff. A couple of wee Facebook groups. Uh, should be Scotty. No, got a clue, says Gregor Fleming. Now, Gregor Fleming, why do you say that? I've never, ever heard it before, of course. Nobody's ever come up with that. We play on words. Aren't you the clever one? So there we are. Excellent stuff. And uh, what we'll do is we'll just do a little bit of sharing there. Share, 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 share. Remember, we have to finish at 10 o'clock sharp. So tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. And Scotty McClure is live right now on Facebook Live. Do not miss a second of Scotty McClure or you miss a moment of life. Scotty, where was our say on the minimum drink pricing? Where was the working man's vote? forced upon us drew curry is it a good thing or a less good thing that's what i need to know very very important so right that's that shared well well if it's not the man himself says duke zen lynn barman there we are scotty got cracking photo of the indie march uh, through the wee lobby statue on woodlands road yes the indie march went very successful and i noticed that the BBC, the British Bottom Cream, actually reported it. What we've got in Scotland, Scotland should be independent, whether you uh, appreciate the SNP or anything like that. We're well, not Radio Paisley, says Izzy Kerr. Of course, is he? Absolutely. Long time no here, says Paul Skinner. You've been invited to the Royal Wedding. Nice hat, Scotty. The flat cap, tremendous. You're looking great for a hundred year old, says Mark Hunter. So are you, Mark. You're incredible. Uh, I had a share button before. It's not there now. Yes, I think that that's uh, what happens. I think it's something. It gets played about with if too many folk join us. So there you are. Uh, Scotty, I hope Alex Ferguson pulls through. He's a good governed man. He is indeed absolutely very, very important. So there you go.